Hey, let's talk about multiplying variables. So when we're multiplying variables, generally you'll see something like this. Four multiplied by x. And a lot of people get confused when they see the four and the x right next to each other. And, uh, you know, understanding that that's multiplication. And they wonder why we don't do something like this. But once you write it out, it does become a little more obvious, you know, why we won't do that. And it's because it gets confusing. So imagine we were writing four times x. Now we just have four xx. And just, it looks kind of confusing. It looks, uh, it looks unorganized. It's a little harder to tell, you know, that four is associated with this x over here. So that's why we write the four x like that. Or sometimes it's four y. It just, it looks more organized. And four times y would be equal to four. Well, 4y would be equal to 4 times y. So let's say we're told that y equals 2. How would we do that with 4y four, four if we were given, we're given this? 4y. Well, 4y we already know is equal to four times y. So we could plug it in like this, four multiplied by two, or you could just look at it like this, four multiplied by two. This comes out to eight, this comes out to eight. They're the same thing. Generally, though, you will see it like this with the parentheses. Like you'll, you'll just find it easier to put it into parentheses where you have your variable. Let's scroll down here. I'll do a, a few examples. Uh, doing examples definitely clears things up more. Say we have 4x, and we're told that x is 3. So what we're going to do is just say, all right, x is 3, we're going to plug it in, put it in parentheses, and, you know, plug it in your calculator. 4 times 3, and we're going to get 12. Let's say we're, we get 3x. x is still 3, we're going to say. So we would just put in 3 times 3 or an easier way to look at it possibly. It's three times three, like that, equals nine. What about two x? Same thing again. Just plug your three in that you've been told is your variable. You know, you get told that x equals three in these scenarios. So you plug in three for your x. It's the same thing as two times three. It equals six. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, more videos on this in the future, obviously. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section.